Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more A Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Continuing Kate's story, I'm giving myself a second chance at Kate. I actually made Kate again, did some um, changing with her stats, but not too much, but also forgot to make her a girl. So Kate is now a man. And that's okay, I'm fine with that. Because I want to have a run that succeeds at least a little bit, um, I decided to pick the Survivor uh, class again, and I changed up a little bit of the of the stat spending and picked up some different things. Um, so a quick overview is, is Kate, Man-Kate. Uh, this is the story of Man-Kate, where in the apocalypse, Ryan uh, was gay, and uh, he met a man who identified as Kate, and that was his name. It's not that weird. I actually knew a man named Tracy. So either way, Man-Kate is nine strength, 10 dex, Eight intelligence, nine perception. Um, has used the usual accomplished sleeper, infection resistant, night vision, truth teller, glass jaw, bad knees, and addictive personality. Uh, but has a uh, skill in bashing, cutting, dodging, fabrication, and first aid. So a little bit more survival based. Also, uh, we are we did I did pick survivor again. So we have clean water, pocket knife, and matchbook. I'm actually going to go ahead and wield the pocket knife right away because I'm desperately afraid of what's actually downstairs. Uh, in our basement, much like last time. We also have the usual emergency jackets uh, and the like. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, one of those. And we're gonna get our adventure started. We're gonna wear the emergency jacket. She's wearing it while, I like how Kate is actually like, <laughs> she's wielding a knife, it looks like a sword. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop this jacket here. Um, and I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna go downstairs. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom out. And we're gonna head in. And Kate, once again, starting in his little evacuation shelter, is a little nervous because perhaps there was somebody we locked in down here. So we open the door and we go in very, very quietly and just kind of do a quick look around. All right, the basement is empty, which is good. Bad news. We only start with a heat pack <laughs> and that is it. So we immediately, immediately have to leave to find some things. So if we go into the map, um, we are near the town of Waldoboro. Waldoboro. We're in the middle of a forest and there's a road right outside. There's also a military outpost really close and then dead north, a cabin. I've never seen a cabin in the game before. I think that's what I want to do is go to the cabin, but I also want to craft something. Uh, if we're going to go into weapons, I'd like to get like a, a Something like um, a makeshift, uh, what do you call it, like spear or something. Um, I don't know if there is, if we go makeshift. Haircut, machete, knife, glaive, crowbar, sling, knapsack. I don't, I want, I don't want a makeshift haircut. That's a weird thing to do. Um, there's a spear, I thought. Wooden fishing spear, maybe. Maybe this is what I need, is a wooden fishing spear. A uh, tool with cutting, a tool for hammering, and that's it. Um, we can go outside and make that work. So let's go outside, or actually, you know what? Close this, let's look outside for a second and see if there's anything that we can see. Okay. Nothing, okay, so far so good. There's a piece of paper out there. I'm actually gonna go read that. Just because I want lore on the world. The only way to learn about what happened in the world specifically is to find those pieces of paper. So it looks like we have a crow and a squirrel out there. And a possum. Alright, seems pretty clear. I'm just going to go out. Wow, we immediately get some jumper cables it looks like. Also, what is that? What is that white stuff? Thick webs. Are we immediately surrounded by gigantic spiders? That's actually a little scary. I'm gonna try not, there's also a giant rattlesnake. I'm gonna try not to touch the webs. There's three jumper cables there. I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, let's see. Let's just go north. Does the webs worry me, like, actually instantaneously? Um, because that could be, like, a giant black widow. Now, we saw a giant black widow in one of our playthroughs. Uh, I don't know. 
Let's just, I just don't, I just hope that there's no giant black widows. I want to see what this cabin is. Um, we immediately see giant web spider. How many? I don't see them. I don't see them at all? Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, we saw a giant black widow, but not a giant web spider. It's hostile. It is a, uh, it's uninjured. A giant mutated grass spider. It waits for prey to come unensnared in the vast webs that it weaves between trees. So will it not come after me then? Yeah, it seems to be ignoring me. So if it's just a web spider and it stays in its web, I will do my best to avoid it. Because immediately with Kate, we just got to get out there. I'm actually interested. Let's actually, let's be smart here. Let's not be dumb. I'm going to take this rock. And I'm going to smash a tree. We're making a decent amount of noise. Actually, let's go ahead and wield the rock. Maybe that'll help us. Store the knife in our inventory. There we go. I just want one of the heavy sticks. No, I don't want to drop it. All right. Let's let's go back home. Real quick. Just running back. Thank you to those who said the computer actually gives off light enough to craft, but not light enough for people to see, by the way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go over here and start smashing. That immediately broke, which is great. Grab a pipe like we did last time. We don't have enough space, man. Let's drop this heat pack. Still not enough space. Almost enough, but not quite. Let's actually go ahead and drop the matchbook as well. And we're going to grab the pipe. I don't want to dispose of the rock. I need it. We have Oh, we have two heavy sticks. Why? I'm going to drop these just for now. Grab the pipe. Go back to the computer. And then craft ourselves a makeshift crowbar. Done. We can also craft ourselves a cudgel. Let's go ahead and make a cudgel. So we dropped it. So the cudgel does eight bashing, plus two to hit, but it uses 111 moves to attack with it. Whereas the makeshift crowbar does 12 bash, one cut. Yeah, it actually seems like it's better. So we're going to store that. Because this, yeah, our crowbar is a little bit better weaponry. However, I'd like to grab the heavy stick. See if I can make something, maybe like a pointy stick. Does it have range or is it melee? Medium blocking ability, not repairable. Hmm. If we make a spear, we need four scrap metal? We're just going to smash this and examine. We actually do have scrap metal here. And then, it, can I make it? What are we missing? Or a stick? One broom or a two by four or a bee sting. So we're missing like a two by four. So we can kind of start smashing this. Grab uh, B and C. And I kind of want to drop some things. I'm, I'm a little bit messy here with, uh, with how things work. Actually, we have enough. Two by sword, pointy stick, rock and a sock, spear. We can make the w wooden fishing spear. It's very light, but doesn't have much range. Stands below average chance of being. I don't know if that's not. That's not what I'm looking for. There's a and there's also throwing sticks, which I don't know where those come from. Like sharpened rebar requires one rebar, which we don't have. Makeshift knife, we don't need. The 710 split, which we don't need. 
What about wooden crossbow bolt? What about like throwing sticks? Metal fragments we can just throw. I do feel like there might be, maybe there's a mod that I'm thinking of. All right, so we're gonna go with what we've got then. Now let's head up to the, uh, I forgot to set my timer again. Uh, let's head up to the, at least attempt to head up. Is that a squirrel? That's a squirrel. Close this. The cabin up north. So that's where we left off. And we just kind of have to head directly north to make this work. Yeah, we just need to head up north right now. And Kate, counting her blessings that she's not surrounded by a mansion, a town, and all kinds of other things to cause issues. It's a medium boulder. Some animals up top. If we take a look, it's, uh, we can't see them. <laughs> we can't see any of the animals yet. So my concern coming up to this cabin that you can now see on the mini-map is obviously a zombie. But look at this place. So let's, we kind of, I would like to open it. There we go. And then we can kind of just look in. We spotted a dog. Where's the dog? Rock. Okay, it says we spotted a dog, though. I don't see the dog anymore. All right, this might be immediately where we decide to spend our time. It has a wood stove, which is great. Why can't I see the dogs? They must be north? Like, I don't know. It says I'm seeing a dog. Yeah, there they are. It's weird. I'm, I'm hitting V, but nothing's happening. Like, it's not going where it normally would be. But yeah, we've got a bunch of dogs right here. It's tracking right now. I'm going to actually say okay and back up and then just go inside and start closing the shades. We could deal with the dogs, but this is actually an incredible start. Ooh. Okay. Things just got interesting and immediately interesting. Um, there's a completely locked up house back there. I think we're going to leave it alone. And as long as we don't make enough no a ton of noise. Um, and uh, we'll probably actually deal with that later. So we've got ourselves some solid rock. The wood stove. Uh, which is great. A table with four chairs and a glass cup which we can put some water in. Over here, we have a heat pack. A beret. Is that like a, let's put that on. I think it's a hat. That might keep our face warm or our head warm. You put on a beret. Let's take a look, beret. It looks fancy. Uh, it gives very little protection, <laughs> but it does nothing else. That's fine. A pillow and an empty dresser. All right. We immediately have ourselves a good spot to call home. So the question now is, what do we do? First of all, we're a little bit more distant from Waldoboro, and I think that's probably good for Ryan. We do have a source of food in the dogs that are slowly starting to surround us, and we are hearing movement inside here. There is there's something moving around inside. There's going to be a zombie in there. I guarantee it. So let's zoom out a little bit. There's one dog. I kind of want the dog to see me. He doesn't seem to care. There's also a newspaper page. I forgot about the one over there. I kind of want to know what's in here. Okay. This is probably the resident. What is this? Or the, the old resident. This is a skeleton with its skin so tight and cracked bones are barely visible beneath it. Uh, covered in scar tissue and coils of scabbed black liquid. Or rather, and coils of scabbed black liquid with its eyes so deeply sunken into its skull they are barely visible. It's in, uh, let's see what it says. Uh, it's a wonder this once human creature can move at all. 
So it's medium size, zombie technically, has the following senses, hearing and sight, it, it, uh, in fight it can bleed, it has a head. We're gonna go ahead and put safe, why is safe mode off? Safe mode is on. It doesn't seem to know us. Or see, well, maybe it does. Yeah, it does seem to see us. We're gonna smack it and back up. It didn't do anything. It ripped into our jacket and bit our left arm immediately. Okay, it, it also didn't, it hurt us. Okay, we finally hit it. Why is this thing destroying us? There we go. That sucked. We're gonna go ahead and butcher the skeleton. Not because we want to, but because we can. That was an awful start for a fight. For, I have a skill in bashing and cutting, so I'm surprised we missed so much with our, uh, with our makeshift crowbar. Um, we're in a little bit of pain. It doesn't seem like we're, got ripped up too much. We're a little unhappy as well. But this had a dress, a sports jersey, two tainted bones, and a skirt. Maybe useful for some cloth, but I want to go in here real quick. It was boarded up for obvious reasons. And a couple empty lockers. So, whoever lived here... Maybe their loved one, or, or what have you, they, they found them and then just decided, you know what? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to destroy them. Um, or they, they got infected, or I can't, I can't kill them. Um, I will just lock them away. So, what do we do? Oh, let's see. To hit bonus plus two. Where, what is a crowbar to hit bonus do plus two the, the crowbar is just better unfortunately I say unfortunately because we're just not doing a good job using it I'm gonna smash up some chairs and I'm gonna grab what I can I also need like a bag so why don't we smash this up as well we have a ton of rags and we're gonna actually do something with them uh, let's grab these. I'm gonna pop this open for now. Just so I have a little bit of light. And I want to craft if I can. What's a shoulder strap? A shoulder strap allows the rifle to be worn. Okay, got it. The 2 by sword is technically better than the crowbar. Maybe not by much. Yeah, maybe not really. Maybe not by much. Nail board. It's not by much. I want a bindle, basically. Um, and I might grab it, make a turban as well. Something just to help myself out. So a bindle will allow me to carry a little bit. So we might as well bone needle. All right, yeah, why don't we do that? Six rags and a heavy stick or two by four. Let's go ahead and make a, a bindle with a nearby two by four. Actually, with the heavy stick that we have. And now we, we it's right there. Let's grab the bindle and then wear it. And now we're carrying the bindle and you can actually see the bindle in the back. It's, uh, it's encumbering us a lot. So what we might need to do and something I should try and remember to do more is drop things when fights start. If I see a fight coming, just drop the bindle and get ready to fight. Now, turban uh, will give us 50% coverage and a little bit of warmth. So I'm going to go ahead and make it. And then I will put it on. And now I'm wearing a turban as well. Look at me. I'm starting to look like uh, somebody who lives in the apocalypse a little bit. What else can we do here? Chest wrap gives us a little bit of protection of bashing and cut. Um... Currently, right now, what are we wearing on our chest? Long sleeve shirt, which gives us bashing and cut. Our winter jacket. Winter coat, which gives us a little bit as well. And then um, a winter and our emergency jacket, which I'm going to move up a little bit. It's giving us a little bit. I don't know if I want to actually slap a chest wrap down then. How about we make hand wraps? And then with that, we actually can go ahead and wear these. So we got hand wraps now as well. 
The left arm, so they're super encumbered because we have the bindle. I get that. I'm okay with that. I'm accepting that. I need food, and I don't know if I'd rather go out into the, the wild or try and maybe get one of these dogs or something to come at me. I might want to try and get a dog if I can. They seem to be ignoring me for the most part. And I, for, what is going, oh, there we go. Dog, 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 tracking, tracking, tracking. They're ignoring me almost completely. Spotted black rat. Way over there. The black rat, an omnivorous uh, rodent with sheer black fur and long, rough tail. Harbinger, harbinger of pestilence, famine, and mange. It will sometimes swarm over the dead or dying. All right. Well, good to know. We don't really need to worry about that. I want this. Popular mechanics. People say mechanics is boring. We say prove them wrong. We've got all articles that make it interesting. Uh, popular mechanics. All right. Let's, well, let's grab that. Throw it in our bindle for now. I don't know how realistic it is right now for us to be trying to get the attention of a dog because they just are there's so many of them and they don't seem to care they're not hungry right now and I, I if I fight one I'm likely gonna have to fight them all but it might be worth it to try okay let's give it a shot Nope. Missed. Oh, it's because I have the bindle on. Hang on, let's go over the fence. I'm done. Where's our bindle? Gonna just drop it for now. We should be way less over encumbered. Let's try and fight this damn dog. We're missing. Oh, there comes a coyote. Got him. Whoop! They can't get over the fence. Oh, maybe they can. Alright. I'm gonna let the fence be kind of my... Defense. As it were. Okay, I got him again. So right now... Kate has put himself over the fence and is just... Trying to use that to, her, to his advantage. Uh, while these dogs all come in. And hopefully don't get a lot, but I've, I've angered the pack. And we're just, we've pissed off everything. Uh, we have to run. We got messed up a little bit there. They don't do much damage, but they do enough. And they're ripping through pretty much everything that I have. Smack it. Wait a few turns. Come at me, bro. How about I get you into the house? Where'd you go? Come on. We got him twice there. So, the dog hit our left arm, but armor protected us. We whacked the dog for 17 critical damage, and then whacked the dog for 12. He might be trying to run now. No, he's coming back. What? One down. That's food. He's off. We killed one, he ran. Good. All I want is to butcher it. We destroyed the flesh. We only got bone. Fuck. Let's grab this. Wear it and bring it back inside. Let's drop it in here. We can't do anything with this. We gotta drop this now. It's actually useless. The jacket is, is useless to us. It's broken. Um, and the bindle, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop as well. I want more. I need to fight more. 
but I don't see the dogs. It looks like the dogs all mostly scattered. There's... Over here, there's an animal. It's another dog. But the, the pack seems to have scattered for whatever reason, so... Whoa! From the northeast, there was a huge explosion. Yeah, it's up there. Minefield likely. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't think there's anything that could have a freaking grenade launcher, but if there's zombies nearby, they're going to try and get them. Come back. I'm seeing if there's anything. Don't run away. Good. Yes, that's what we need. We need all of this. It's not much food, but it is food. And that's going to get us started on feeling better. And that big explosion could be dangerous. We'll see. Uh, but for now... Because I don't know how long I've been going. I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Say thank you all so much for watching. Kate, his story has just begun. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.